Good evening, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Last week, the market has moved mostly based on our uh, predictions, and that was actually good. Let's look today on the market and let's uh, predict how the market will move for this coming week. So let's start as usual with the Euro USD. Now I'm checking the Euro USD. It seems like the Euro USD has bounced on the support level right here. So we can see the first bounce happened right here and the second one happened right here. And remember, I'm on the daily chart. So it seems like the Euro USD is making bounces on this level, especially if we are following the trend line. And we can see that the trend uh, is strong on this level. So as it seems like the Euro USD will continue bouncing. And let's see where is going to be a good idea to start buying the Euro USD. You cannot buy it immediately. Let's check now the four hour chart. So on the four hour chart, what we can see here is a resistance has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle and seems like it's reversing right on this resistance here. So we had this resistance, which kept the position as a resistance right here and also as well right here. So this is resistance number one and here is resistance number two. So it seems like the Euro USD is going to bounce all the way, retesting this previous level of the resistance and continue to go more up. Uh, in other words, Euro USD should be actually good to start buying. Let me just be try to be more accurate as much as possible. Uh, I believe, if you allow me, my friends, just let me do some some like uh, tests or just uh, checkings, just to be sure. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. So I believe that Euro USD should be actually good to start buying on the level 1.1111 right on this support and you can keep your position all the way i believe the euro usd will continue rising all the way until this level of the resistance on 1.12187 and again the reason for this forecast is this bu uh, bullish breakout candle after breaking from this resistance and bouncing from this next resistance seems like it's going to go all the way down. First of all, it will retest this, uh, this resistance level. And also we can see that we have here this strong support, which should actually keep the position as a support and it's going to bounce and continue to go more up. So again, your USD is good for buy, but not immediately. Just wait for it to reach the support level on 1.1101. Let's now take a look at the pound USD. Pound USD has moved as I predicted. It's going up as I told you. If we go to the uh, to see the daily chart, we can see the pound USD has indeed broke this previous resistance and went actually 115 pips away after breaking this resistance. Now, I don't think it will stop here. I believe uh, the pound USD will continue rising and it should continue rising all the way until at least this level on 1.23797 I don't believe it will con it will stop uh, it will stop uh, we have to stop the <laughs> steam uh, it, I don't think it will stop uh, rising until it actually uh, reach this level of the resistance however euro is, uh, pound USD I think it will make another attempt on this uh, support here let me go to the 4 hour chart so we can see it I think that pound USD at the opening on Monday, it should actually go down all the way to this previous support level and then it will continue rising more up. I don't think it will continue rising immediately unless if there was some un unexpected news from the UK government. So let me just be more accurate here. If you want to really buy the pound USD, you can do it on the level 1.22145. I, it should actually be a good idea, idea to start buying the pound on this level and keep your position for one for almost 170 pips uh, until it reaches 1.23797. Uh, uh, let me just be more accurate here. Uh, if I want to look at the left, let's see on the left what we can see. What we can? What is the conclusion we can see on the left? So this is the previous support level, uh, previous resistance level. And this is the previous support level, which I'm assuming that the pair should reach. 
so if we look at the lift we can see here also we had a strong support level as well which was uh, a strong resistance level so in general this level is a strong as a support and as a resistance that's why i think it should be a really good idea to start buying the pound usd right on this level because we have here a support number one and usually there will be another attempt so it, it will create support number two and that is where i want to actually place my buy order for the pound usd so again pound usd is good to buy on 1.22145 and should be good all the way until 1.23797 let's now check uh, aud usd AUSD, AUD USD is kind of a disappointment right now because it's still ranging for the next for the for the second week uh, in a row so we still cannot tell anything I still think it should go up uh, this is actually a good level to start buying the, the AUD USD because it's right now here on the very bottom of the support level but again uh, seeing the pair bouncing this much is really not safe let me tell you on the on the four hour chart this price action which I really like it's indicating a possible strong reversal on this level seeing this candle here it's actually giving me the hope that the, the AUD USD will actually make a strong reversal or a strong bullish reversal on this level so it should actually be good to buy the AUD USD right immediately actually now once the market open uh, we can uh, enter with a small lot and be ready to start buying the AUD USD and we can keep your trade if it's gonna break from this previous resistance right here let me tell you now the market is stuck in this resist and this ranging market now it's under consolidation so if it's really gonna break from this resistance it's gonna go all the way up until this resistance right here exactly right here so we can start buying the AUD USD right now when the market open on Monday and hopefully the market will break from this support uh, from this uh, previous resistance continue going all the way up for 154 pips so we can start buying it uh, on 0 0.67450 which is immediately and keep your position at least until 0 0.67990 right on this resistance and if we are lucky enough it will continue rising all the way to 0 0.68984 looking at the weekly chart as well it's indicating a lot of rejections on this level we can see the spin bar here followed by another candle here a uh, doji candle indicating this is a strong support level especially that it's at the very bottom of this week as well so yeah this level is very strong as a support i don't think the market will break from it easily there should be a small reversal at least until this level before it either go down to break the level or continue to go more up which is actually uh, my prediction that it will continue to go more up so let's get rid of all of that uh, let's check the USD CAD USD CAD however has been ranging as well we can see the whole week it's just ranging on this resistance level now seeing all these wicks here at the top indicating there is a lot of rejection at, at this level uh, especially if we look at the left we can see that also we had here or um, a very strong resistance level which has become a support level in the past and now it's becoming a resistance level most likely uh, USD CAD is going to fall down and will continue to fall more down until breaking this previous support and it will go all the way down to the next support right on this level right here so uh, it's not good idea to start selling the USD CAD immediately let's look at the four hour chart USD CAD is ranging a lot on this resistance level has made more than four attempts already on this level uh, it will be more safe if we wait for the USD CAD to go another to make another attempt if it makes a fifth attempt on this resistance level then it might be a good idea to start selling the USD CAD don't sell it immediately otherwise you will be in risk to lose about 50 pips if it's okay for you you can start selling immediately but better just to be safe wait for it to reach this level on 1.33339 uh, 3, 3, on this resistance level and we can start selling the USD CAD and we can keep the position all the way until hitting exactly this previous support 
on 1.31747 and that we are talking about almost 152 pips of profit it should be easy for the USD CAD it should move actually like that I don't see it going up at all at the moment I don't expect this to happen uh, there is here again I'm telling you a very look at this look at the left here on 8 June 2018 we had a really strong resistance on this level and even here and here and here USD CAD is a very is on a very strong resistance level I don't think the breakout will gonna happen immediately especially seeing all these rejections happened on the same level of the resistance so again wait for it to reach this level and you can start selling the USD CAD until it reach this support level hopefully this is what will gonna happen for this coming week <clears throat> let's get rid of all of that USD GPY USD GPY as I predicted it's still going down and I believe it will continue to go more down um, we can see it has actually reached this resistance as I said exactly wait for it to reach this resistance and you can start selling and those who have entered the uh, based on my advice have made a good profit I think about 80 pips maybe 80 pips around yeah Whoa, 126 pips that was good so uh, what will gonna happen I believe it should continue to fall more down and I will stick to my word it will continue falling down until it reaches the very bottom of the support on the very bottom also of this week here so how what should we do with the USD GPY let's check the four hour chart and we can see there is a reversal happened right here and the market could not actually break the support level so what will gonna happen um, it's a possibility that the USD GPY it might make a small bounce let me just be more accurate here uh, I will need to pause the video just to be sure about that just give me one second yes I have made sure actually it should go all the way up to this previous uh, resistance and previous support as well we can see that we had here a support level and we had here a previous resistance which was also in the past a very strong support so yes it should be a good idea to start selling USD GPY um, on 105.685 keep your position let's be safe I don't want to be uh, very risky all the way until this level of the very bottom of the support level on 105.078 that should be a good uh, 60 pips of profit but again it might continue to go all the way down until the support level right here so uh, sorry on 104.652 so again USD GPY good for sell on 105.685 and I'm expecting it to continue falling until 104.652 let's check the USDCHF right now USDCHF is seems to be going down as well but it's not gonna happen immediately I believe it should reach this uh, support level right here so what should we what should we do wait for the USDCHF to rise a little bit more up until it hit this previous resistance right here exactly so we can see that we had here support as well and we had this resistance so I'm expecting that the USD CHF is bouncing right on the support level we are seeing and it will continue going more up and here should be really good to start selling USD CHF and we can keep the position all the way until it hit this previous support level uh, let's uh, just mark the levels I think until this level only so USD CHF should be good to start selling oh by the way this is daily chart let me change it yes just like that so USD CHF is expected to go all the uh, to, yeah it will go all the way until this level 0 0.69 uh, sorry uh, 0 0.96909 and we can start selling if we are lucky if it will go about 60 pips uh, above so we can start selling the USD CHF on 0 0.98079 and keep your position until it had this previous support but to be honest with you I don't think this is gonna happen immediately it might take some days uh, but 
don't risk to buy the USDCHF. I don't think it's a good idea to start buying USDCHF at all. We need to be safe and be patient. Just wait to see if it reached this previous resistance right here, and then you can start selling USDCHF. But attempting to buy it is not going to be a good idea at all at this point, especially we are seeing this bearish breakout candle uh, performed last week in just one, one day. So that's a lot of uh, bearish momentum happening right there. So again, USDCHF should be go good to sell on 0 0.98093 and keep your position until 0 0.96909. Let's now check gold. Gold, I believe gold will continue rising and allow me to explain the reason. If we look at the monthly chart, we can see this really strong bull uh, bullish uh, momentum here and based on my support and resistance understanding and also hit and run rules it's not, it's not gonna reverse until it hit this previous uh, support let me just zoom in yeah it should hit actually this it should hit this previous support after this bearish breakout candle and remember we are on the monthly chart so I don't think the reversal is going to happen before it actually touch it. And we're talking about <laughs> 3,200 pips. So be, please be careful. Uh, gold is going to continue rising up. And if we look at the weekly chart, uh, let's, look, let, let's take a look at the left. We can see that we can adjust the support line actually a, a little bit. And yes, exactly like that to be safe as much as possible on the weekly chart we can see that here we had this small week here I don't know if you can see it let me just zoom in I just want to be sure everything is clear here this week my friends this one here it's just right before the bearish breakout candle so the the candle the current candle I'm expecting it to continue rising all the way until it reaches this level before it starts reversing so if you want to buy gold you can do it immediately and keep your position only until it hit this previous resistance. And we're talking about a lot of pips, by the way. Uh, 140 pips of profit should be good. But if you want to be really safe, you can start selling the gold on 1,540. That will be actually a better idea because uh, gold is continue to rise up, but it's a possibility that it's going to go down now uh, Hitting this previous support before it actually continue to go more up So yeah buying gold immediately might not be ideal not, might not be good idea The safest thing you can do is wait for the gold to reach the level 1540 and then you start sell the gold until it hit, it reached this previous support and we're talking about 4200 pips uh, it's very risky to keep trading for that long uh, however let me just adjust it let me just I, I just want to be safe I don't want uh, anyone to lose a lot of money because of my advices so this is the level 1540 and if we place sell right here on this level, uh, we can keep our position until 1,523 and that will be about 1, 000, uh, 160 pips of profit, which should be actually really uh, good. Did I say 3,000 pips? Uh, no, no, no. I, I'm sorry. I meant 300, not 3,000. Forgive me. Mistake, guys. Don't judge me about that. Not 3,000 pips. I meant th uh, 200 uh, or 300 pips. I'm sorry about that okay don't judge me <laughs> so again uh, gold is good to sell at 1540 and keep your position until 1523 and should be good for about 160 pips of profit so that was my forecast for this week hopefully it will be a very profitable week, week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching